Hi guys, got a request from Matt Ninman uh, regarding the steering on the cheap radio controlled cars. So I think the only way I can answer it is to take this one apart and have a look. First of all, I'll get a transmitter and make sure this one works. Right, so we've got a working car. Right, the bit he wants to know about, I'm going to have to take the cover off here. And everything falls apart. This is the piece he's interested in, that spring. And that's the bit that helps the steering centre. And by, if I can turn it over, adjusting this bit, it adjusts the tension on either side of that spring. There's not very much going on there, but that is not actually a round peg, it's oval shaped. So as you turn it, it's pushing the spring a little bit further on one side or the other side. That's what the spring is that he's talking about in his comment. So the the circular bit fits over that round um, peg, and the legs go either side of the peg that comes up from that arrow. So that's that. That's how it needs to go back. Now we got to try and get all these bits back in place. Just out of interest, the motor there, the gear on it, goes on those teeth just there. That's what pushes the steering side to side. And then that bit of plastic sticking up there actually goes down you can see the legs of the spring being moved. So we've got to try and get that all back together now. If you haven't got that little plastic bit between those legs, then it's not going to work. Probably need three or more hands to do this.
Right, if the spring's in place properly, the wheels go back to the centre position. If it's not doing that, then you haven't got that little peg in between the springs. So, still working. Always worry about that, taking cars apart. 